Hello, welcome. I made this uh, lovely new backdrop. A friend of mine wants me to do some flamethrower VFX for him. So this is more of a draft just to see how it goes, but I'm sure it'll teach you what you need to know if you want to do it for yourself. Let's get started. So I'm starting by dragging my assets in, and then tracking the camera. Here are two of the assets that I have. I made all the assets that you see in this video out of this one video of a flamethrower, I'll put the link in the description. If you want the ones that I made specifically, let me know in the comments and I'll post them in a separate video. Make it 3D, position it to make it line up, then keyframe the position, anchor point, rotation, slash orientation, with the motion. However, there is a limit to how much motion you can introduce with just keyframes before it starts to look like you just slapped it on there. To fix this, you can use a liquify effect. You gotta keyframe the distortion percentage and the mesh offset to get the fluid motion that you need. I had to do this on any of the more sudden motion that there was. Then I lined up the second asset and keyframed that. I used a brightness and contrast effect with some keyframes to better blend them together. Then just fiddle with a bunch of things. Now to fix that crappy edge. Draw a mask around the edge and add a rough and edges effect. This will better disguise the border. Then you have to duplicate that mask, set it to add, then add a glow effect with the compositing option set to that mask. Bam, that edge is now mostly fixed. And then you gotta do that for any other assets. Next up, Alt Shift Y for a new adjustment layer. Make it 3D and put it on the ground and then draw a mask. Add a curves effect to make it a red orange color, then animate the mask so it moves around with the flame. Now the flame is casting light. Do that on any other surfaces that should be lit. To add some interaction with the lens, I duplicated the comp with the flame, moved it to the side, added some blur and color effects. You can see right there. Look again. Anyways, fire asset with some glow effects and a black solid set to screen with a lens flare. Then I'm adding some nice strips of fuel in pretty much the same way that I did the flame. Control Y for a new solid. Add a lens flare effect and keyframe it to the brightest part of the flame. And then you're done. Distortion percentage in the mess. Distortion percentage in the mesh offset. The distortion percentage in the mess. The distortion. The distortion percentage in the mo- The disport- <laughs> I used a brightness and contrast as- Asset? What? Make it 3D. Position it- Make it 3D. Position- Make it 3D. Position it to make it line up, then keyframe the position- Should've added commas. <clears throat> Hey, can you get out of my house?